All right, y'all, how y'all doing? So it's my morning. I work night shift, so it's about like three in the afternoon. So I'm getting ready to go to work. But uh, so a constant question that people ask is like, how much do you charge? How much do you charge for me? How much do you charge for this or that? And so that's a very good question because that's everyone's like, if you're not good with like, I don't know, just like, I've seen videos where they kind of break it down to you, but it's so complicated and so confusing, and I just never got it, okay? So, I'm gonna tell you an easy way, I, the way I do it. And some people might not agree, but hey, whatever. The way I figure out how I price some of my stuff is I'll look. Okay, first of all, I got a, a, a I, I asked someone that a long time ago, uh, a YouTuber, and he basically like, look, whatever you think your food is worth, you do that, okay? So at the end of the day, whatever you think your food is worth, you do that, okay? So some people might not agree with those prices, whether they be customers or whatever, but like I said, I said before, do not chase cheap people because those are the hardest people to please and you will never get nowhere having those people follow you, okay? You want people that like you, food, want to appreciate your food for for the quality of it and stuff like that. So that being said, the way I do it is, okay, a local restaurant here um, in Houston, I don't know where else, is Papa's uh, Barbecue, right? Um, what I'll do is I'm like, okay, let's just say I'm making sandwiches. I'll go, bah, 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 look on the website, see um, what they're charging for sandwiches. So right now they're charging for uh, sliced beef brisket sandwiches. Uh, a sandwich is uh, $13.95 plus tax. So about $14 and some change, okay? Um, and it just comes like that. No chips and no drink. I have people all the time and I'll charge cheap. $10 for just a sandwich. And they'll be like, does it come with the chips and drink? And these people, they just want so much from me, but they don't understand 12 hours or more of cooking brisket, right? All wood, smoke. Then the buns that I use, kind of expensive. Then the pickles, the sauce, homemade. And then I'll give them a hefty amount, okay? If you ask anyone that's bought a sandwich from me, then they'll tell you that I'll give them a good amount. So, like I said, so right now I just saw that their price right now is basically $14 for a sandwich. So I'm going up. Now I'm not going up to 14, but I think I'm gonna go up to $12 a sandwich. And so they have platters and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying Papa's Barbecue is bad. They're, they have good food. I'm just saying what helps me to figure out some of my prices, I'll look at local restaurants like that because like they're gonna do what's best for them, right? To survive, right? They're a company that need to survive. And so I'm gonna follow that. I'm not gonna always try to hook people up because then I'll never succeed, okay? So look at someone that's local, that's selling barbecue and then see their prices. Now, of course, there are some places that sell real cheap, all right? but. They're cooking different and they suck. Now, Papa's, the reason why I like looking at theirs is because they have a standard they have to be at. Uh, they're a big chain restaurant. And so I kind of re respect that, right? And so their prices, I feel like, um, are, are understandable. And, and people, they gotta understand and they won't. Barbecue is not a cheap thing. To me, it's like a luxury now, especially if you're getting smoked barbecue, okay? And so it's expensive. So if, like I said, don't chase cheap people, please. If you're always chasing them, you will go broke. The people that you wanna attract is people that appreciate good quality food, all right? Right, Bo?